Why is the Panama Canal so great? Normally, if you wanted to go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, you would have to sail all the way around South America like this. But the United States wanted a shortcut by cutting through the narrowest part straight to the other side, saving them billions of dollars in months of travel time. This narrowest point happened to be in Panama, which at the time was part of Colombia, whose people wanted nothing to do with the United States. So Colombia allowed the French to build this shortcut in 1880, but the French failed. The U.S. then stepped in and helped Panama gain independence in 1903. In return, Panama granted the United States this small strip of land. In 1904, the U.S. bought the Panama Canal project from France and completed it 10 years later. Not only did it shorten travel time, but it also generated billions of dollars in revenue. So how did the United States lose control of such an important asset? From the moment the canal was completed, many Panamanians saw the U.S. presence as a form of occupation. This led to significant tensions, even riots. The United Nations and many Latin American countries supported Panama, arguing that the United States should return control of the canal. Finally, in 1977, the Torres-Carter treaties promised that Panama would regain full control of the canal. However, there were people who didn't want that and wanted to take it back. That's this guy right here.